Yo, 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 what's going on? Salutations, what's happening? Geekers out there, fellow geekers. Um, I am Sasuke, aka Swaggy Cube. Um, I'm here to bring you the Would You Watch It Again? show where we review your favorite movies, animes, and TV shows. And then we ask the big question at the end of the day, was this worth watching? And would you watch it again? Uh, today, I will be diving down The Little Mermaid. <gasps> Ooh, and no, we're not talking about the 1980s rendition. We are talking about the New Age live adaptation uh, starring Miss Halle Berry. Uh, Halle Berry? No, uh, Haley Berry. Sorry. Um, both fine women. I'm sorry, I got it wrong. <laughs> My apologies. Um, no, um, I know this movie definitely started off with, um, you know, mixed reviews, you know, just due to the fact that, you know, for some reason, mermaids can exist, but they just can't be black. Um, why is that? I don't know. Hey, that's for you guys to decide. <laughs> but um, let's dive into it, man. Um, it's the, you know, the typical rendition of the whole movie, you know, mermaid. She wants to be human. She loves a human. Um, daddy won't let her at the site. You know what I mean? Shit gets kind of rough, you know, and uh, yeah, she does everything she can just to try to acquire that love. Um, like I said, it was definitely heart wrenching, definitely tug at the soul. You know, I was like, oh my God, I'm a little kid again. <gasps> um, but that was great. Um, yeah, like I said, I felt like a you know, grown ass kid up in that joint. You know, I had to even nudge over, tell a couple kids, you know, shut up. You know what I mean? So shit's getting good. Um, I must say, man, when uh, Haley was on screen, definitely glued in, definitely locked in on. Must say that she smoked, smoked, smoked that role, and not only just the role, she smoked the vocals. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, if you were definitely at the Alamo out here in Virginia, you might have caught me in there singing a couple of tunes. You know, hit the high pitch. You know, high pitch. No, it and I'm a part of your world. You know, come on, listen, that, that was beautiful. Um, nah, man, uh, she smoked that role. Um, I want to say Prince. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Also, uh, uh, just, uh, was it, uh, Melissa McCarthy. That woman definitely, 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 definitely needs her praise. Um, definitely going into this. I had mixed reviews. Um, you know, she's a well-known uh, comedy-esque woman. She's in that, in my opinion, the Seth Rogen bag. Or don't get it wrong, movies she's done, she smoked them, but she's always just a comedic, you know, either lead or just side character in there. So it was actually refreshing to see her take a completely different spin. Um, don't get it wrong. Yes, there was a little bit of comedic flair in there, but it was nice to see her in a dark, you know, dark horror, dark character, evil villain side shit. And like I said, for her first time doing this, I haven't seen her in bad roles. Like, yo, she killed it. She smoked that one. So definitely salute to those two women. Like I said, they definitely, hell, they put that whole movie on their back and they succeeded. Um, I'd probably say the only thing that kind of like, character wise, I was just not really a fan of, um, maybe Aquafina Scuttle. I, I don't know why. Maybe I probably would imagine her as a fish or something like that. Um, I don't know why it just didn't a little bit didn't sit too, too well, but I mean, it wasn't something that it is brushed off. And I mean, once again, I know she's already catching heat for the role and just her in general with the slot shit, but truth be told, she's not in there that long. So shut the fuck up and just do, you know, that type of shit. Must say, must say, before I get this out, you know, just a recap of everything. That cinematography on this movie, recording everything, phenomenal. Like I said, even though, yes, it's heavy, heavy CGI, you know, of course, nobody can record on the fucking water, but um, it was pretty, it was actually done, you know, pretty solid. Um, I, mind you, this is actually the first Disney movie live adaptation I saw. Um, my one big gripe with that is, hey, I don't want animals to look too fucking real. I'm sorry. I don't need a fish that looks like a real fish just talking to me. If we're going that far to have a fish talk, make that nigga a little bit more animated. I'm sorry. Just saying, I can do without. That's probably why I didn't go see The Lion King. That's why I didn't go see some other things. Why I didn't see that. And that's none of your business, but I want to go see this. <laughs> like I said, that's my one big gripe with this. Other than that, it was pretty solid, pretty pretty on par. Uh, final thought on this one. Um, I would say... The only thing that, you know, kind of tugged at my strings a little bit, uh, which my girlfriend's sister got me hit to, you know, for this to be a Caribbean-esque movie, didn't see a lot of black folks or just I would probably prefer to see a lot more black folks down there. It was definitely a good blend mixing pot of people, which, you know, as a progressive mind thought, you know, in this day and age, 2020, 2023, that's fine. But I think with the era in which they set this movie in and where it was, you know, doesn't it, you're not, I didn't really think it would be that less black folks, but hey, you know, it's his own. Um, that's probably actually one of my biggest gripes with that. Um, another thing I would probably have to say, um, 
just was just lost you know i definitely felt like we could have had a black lead male character for this role ironically enough i probably could have been our boyfriend ddg um the mom was black but you had an adopted white son i mean you know i'm not here to dissect too much just a little lost on that one um but it was good uh, it was definitely one of those things where i definitely know they did the whole multicultural not multicultural mermaids so you know, ideally, any little girl watching this growing up, like, hey, I can see myself in that, which is fine. Like I said, salute to that. But some things just kind of, you know, keep it on track and on brand. Um, uh, yeah. Due to how it ended and due to me being a 90s baby and a complete nerd, um, I could see a part two to this due to how successful these guys did. Um, I mean, just going into it, uh, I believe Rotten Tomato, which is one of the biggest, like, fucking critics that just shit on good shit all the time. Oddly enough, they gave this one, a, I believe, a 70. And I think the audience refused was a 90. So, you know, it's that lets you, that typically lets you know exactly, especially what Rotten Tomatoes, if the audience fuck with it, it's something good to watch. So, um, can I see a part two of this? Sure. I definitely see that, or I definitely know that Disney saw this as a money grab. Um, literally saw a you know a twitter video the other day of just some little black girl she literally got upset because you know the little memory that they had on there was the old cartoon rendition she's like nah i want i want the black ariel so you know a lot of good positive vibes on this Sebastian, definitely you, you know definitely let's give it an eight eight out of ten like i said just a couple things here and there like i said for, especially for a first live adaptation that's all like i said i i, I was very hesitant on this like I said, it, a lot of times I had to check myself like, dog, am I watching a you know National Geographic movie or am I watching this movie? You know, it is what it is. Um, but once you get past all that, like I said, they, they paid homage to the original. They stayed original. You know, they stayed to a little slight things here and there, a little tweak, but they stayed to the show um, or the movie. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, definitely was lost. Oh, actually, you know, I'm sorry. A couple of musical numbers. They needed, uh, you know, the... Kiss the girl, you know, it, it, it wasn't, it didn't have its flair as it did. That's probably actually another big gripe I had. Kiss the girl in the cartoon, you know, they had all the fucking creatures in the pond getting busy singing it out and shit. And then it's just, you know, just the three flounder, uh, Sebastian and uh, 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 Scuttle. So, um, yeah, I'm a little nitpicky like that. I could have used a little bit more creatures and everything else, but you know, that's more CGI and them niggas ain't trying to put the money into it. <laughs> But other than that, yes, it's a good watch. Definitely a good um, wholesome family movie. Definitely, especially if you are a woman of color um, or a young woman of color. Definitely go check this out. It's something nice. It's something fun. It's definitely uplifting. And uh, yeah, that's my review.